Welcome to San Miguel TV. This is San Miguel. All right, we are live. So I got a Hebrew Israelite that um wants to uh swing the swords. So let me let me go ahead and post this right here. Boom. Uh, so anybody that wants to come on, they could just follow that link. Let me see if I could get this joint up right now. Let's get this join up. All right. So if you just, if y'all just give me a second here, I can show y'all what I've been doing to get these Hebrew Israelites riled up. Just give me a second. Let me see if I can log in. <laughs> this shit is crazy. Um let me add an account here. It always gives me trouble when I try to log on to Facebook. So let me see if I can do that right now. Let me see. Boom. Yeah, it's going to give me some trouble. It's always, always, always the same shit. I'll share my, my screen in a minute if it lets me, if I can log in. But, um, yo, this shit always happens. Try another way. Send the code. Um, shit. Yeah, that shit always happens. All right. Anyways, let's see. Yeah, I don't know if dude is really down. He said he wants to come on. So I'm waiting on him. His name is Wob Mob. W-O-B-M-O-B. Wob Mob. He is the real F-O-I. Friends of Israel movement. So waiting on this cap. <clears throat> See what he's about. We're going to see what he's about. Um, so yeah, just give me a minute, y'all. Let me see if I could log on to that Facebook. I just want to show some shit. But you know what? That's all right. If he decides to come on, that's cool. If he doesn't, it's whatever. Um, I don't know what he exactly wants to argue about. I'll share my screen on something else. Um, because he said that slavery started with Slavs. <laughs> Now, the term slavery comes from the word Slav. The Slavs who inhabited a large part of Eastern Europe, they were taken as slaves by Muslims, by Muslims, by the Muslims of Spain during the ninth century. So slavery is broadly described as the ownership, buying and selling of human beings for the purpose of forced and unpaid labor. Somebody that believes in the Bible and knows about the story of the Israelites in Egypt, they should know that slavery is a thing that has started way before the Slavs. So I don't know where this cat is getting at, but I would love to challenge him on what makes him believe that he's an Israelite, the color of Christ and all the scriptures that talk about that. So we're going to get into a bunch of things. I don't know. This dude seems unhinged. <laughs> He does not seem like he has any control over his emotions. This cat wanted, but he wanted to go live. Now I was like, perfect. Let's do this shit. <clears throat> he said, right now, I said, go on that channel. I'm live right now. There you go. <laughs> Wob mob. Where you at, son? Let's go into these scriptures. I'm fucking ready for this shit. I've been waiting for one of these casts. That's why sometimes you got to push buttons for them to make a quick decision without thinking. This cat doesn't know what he's about to get himself into. Let's go. I'm waiting. He says, 
Let me see. Uh, slavery started with Slavs. Yeah, he's damn. I can't believe he said some of the shit he said. Let me see what else he said. Yo, and he got so fucking triggered because I said, um, he's saying that Holly Selassie is a descendant of King David and Solomon and all that shit. Like, yo, that shit's never been proven, man. Stop, yo. That's your faith-based belief. He sits on Solomon's throne. How? In Ethiopia? And how do Israelites that are clearly West African or Sub-Saharan African, how they jumping on some Haile Selassie shit when Ethiopians don't even claim to be Negroes? They don't even fuck with Negroes. I've posted that shit before. Actually, let me show you that. They don't call themselves Negro. They are actually very racist against Negroes. So they actually teach these cats that um, the reason that they're the real Jews, but the reason why their face is dark is because their face is sunburnt. That's literally a belief. Uh, and I'll show you. It's on my page. Um, but yeah, let's, let's just go there. <sighs> this cat got triggered into a debate. Let's go. I don't see him responding, man. Yo. <laughs> I hate how these cats jump jump up to get fucking beat down. Nah, they 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 have a lot of energy and shit. We'll see, man, if he follows through, man. I doubt it. A lot of these cats be talking like they're gonna do some shit and they never do. Um, so let me see here. Uh yeah, all right. So we do the shorts. There's a lot of he and he seems like a little bit on the brain side or whatever. So he might he might be one that'll come on, but you never know until they do, man. And it's like happens rarely. So let me see. Um on my channel not too long ago, I posted it as a short. Let me see if I can find it here. Um mm -mm. Yeah, here we go. All right, so let me share my screen. Step up to get your rep up. All right, so I put the link on here. I'm going to see if I can send it to him directly. That dude said, I want to go right now. I want to go live right now. Yeah, this dude is um right now. So go live. I'll be live right now. So he got the message, man. Um, yes, you know what? Actually, let me see if I can do this. Sorry if the sound gets messed up. This is just gonna happen real quick. I gotta go on my own live. Sorry, if the sound gets up. All right. Um, damn, it ain't gonna let me do it. I hate that. Shit. I guess I'll have to type it out. Let me see. Boom. H T. Oh, I know what I'll do here. Boom. Check out the G. What if I do that? All right. So that's not the right. That's not the right link. Fuck. How do I send that shit to myself? It's always an issue here. I guess I'll just type it out. H T T P S. Boom. Stream yard dot com. Unless he's on, bro. If you're on mob wob whatever, just come on, bro. Or type something in the message so I know that you're here. Cause I'm going through extra shit to try to get you on here. And all you gotta do is just fucking come on here. Like, where are you at? Why do I gotta search? Why do I gotta search for you and come find you and shit when you said? I'm right here. What do you mean? Here we go. Finally, you say something. Come on. Hit that link right there. It's about time I get a Hebrew Israelite. I'm right here. Where you at? 
So you have to prove some things before we talk about Jacob's trouble or whatever you want to talk about. You gonna have to prove who the Israelites are and that you're an Israelite. So that's what I that's I, I want to know that. I want to know how you know you're an Israelite. Let's play this thing real quick. I'm gonna share my screen. <clears throat> These are Ethiopians. Um, talking about how they feel about black about Negroes, blacks, West Africans, sub-Saharan Africans, because Ethiopians are not sub-Saharan Africans. I'm sorry. I'm going to read Pharisees out of the Zondervan Bible Dictionary. They became a closely organized group, very loyal to the society and to each other. But... Well, as I told you before, we have also our own prejudices against the African Negroes. We consider them as inferior. We have, of course, our own reasons for saying so. What are they missing? Well, first thing, we consider ourselves to be of the lost tribe of Israel and not Negroes. It's only that our uh, fists are burnt, our uh, fists are burnt, that we look uh, like Negroes. And also, <laughs> I have developed some new prejudices prejudices and uh, I never felt that I was a Negro till I came to this country. What, why? Because my tutor in the monastery told me that uh, I was not a Negro but I was a sunburned Hebrew. A sunburned Hebrew. Uh, uh. Well as I told you before we have also our own prejudices against the African Negroes. We consider them as inferior. We have of course our own reasons for saying so. What are they missing? Well, first thing, we consider ourselves to be of the lost tribe of Israel and not Negroes. It's only that our uh, fists are burnt, our uh, fists are burnt, that we look uh, like Negroes. And also, I have developed some new prejudi prejudices. And uh, I never felt that I was a Negro till I came to this country. What, why? Because my tutor in the monastery told me that... Uh, I was not a Negro, but I was a sunburned Hebrew. A sunburned Hebrew. Uh, uh. Well, as I told you before. This is what they believe, man. These cats believe that they are the children of Israel. So they do believe they are the children of Israel. But they're believing that they're sunburnt. They don't believe that they're Negroes. This is a completely different thing from what the uh hebrew israelites from one west or whatever oh here we go house of elijah from hey. what the uh hebrew israelites from run. one west or whatever oh here we go house of elijah hey. from hey. what the uh hebrew israelites hey. from run. one west or whatever oh here we go house of elijah hey. from hey. what the uh hebrew israelites hey. from one west or wherever oh, here we go. House of i'm gonna mute you um, yeah, but, so you could take care of the, whatever the background. I don't know what's going on with the background noise, but I'm hearing myself talking. Um, you on live House of Elijah. Take care of the, whatever the background. I don't know what's going on with the background noise, but I'm hearing myself talking. Yeah, um, that's not good. You on live. That's not good. You got to fix that. Yeah, you got to fix that so we can have a proper conversation because I'm, I'm hearing background noise. What's going on? Um, so yeah, House of Elijah, you believe you're an Israelite, right? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, one second, one second. Man. All right, so let me just mute you out. So, I was on a Facebook group called Jews versus Hebrew Israelite, y'all. So, everybody that's on, I'll give you a little history. House of Elijah, um, I think he was on a post, yeah, he was on a post that's talking about something regarding, um, Selassie being a descendant of, of King David. This has never been proven. This is a claim. Okay. Let's get an earplug. My phone is kind of low. Hold on. Okay. okay. So this has never been proven um, that uh, Holly Selassie, let me, let me uh, share my screen, is a descendant
Right. So we got to go to a good, um, I got to go to a good source because you're going to have conflict of interest here within Ethiopian stuff. Yeah, I could hear you. All right, perfect, perfect. Let's get it. What's, what's happening? All right. So what do you want to talk about first? You want to talk about the post? Because I don't know exactly what we are. Um, I mean, I guess, first of all, do you believe Selassie was a descendant of King David? First of all, how, how many people watch? We got seven people right now. Okay. What was the first question that you asked me? I don't remember. What was exactly. it? Whether I Hebrew Israelite. Right. That's your problem. That's your first mistake right there. What's that? Let me, you prejudged. I don't know what made you think that I was a Hebrew Israelite. Now, you set all this up mm. from your prejudgment. Of me, of you thinking that I was a Hebrew Israelite, you ain't do no investigation. You did the video that you listened to should have told you that I was not a Hebrew Israelite. The video that I listened to, oh, okay, the one I didn't even. I heard you talking about the tr the time of Jacob's trouble, right? Exactly. Who's Jacob? He's Israel, right? Jacob is Israel. So, who are the Israelites today? My God. This is crazy. You know why it's crazy? Because all my videos mm -hmm. is me disproving the black Hebrew Israelites as not the original Hebrew as not the original Israelites. Ah, okay. So I got the whole premise of this whole thing incorrect. Messed up because you just making fun or just making a comment out of nowhere. Well, you you friend of Israel is that what? That's a friend of Israel. That don't mean I'm a Hebrew Israelite. Okay. So I'll just update that right there. All right. So who do you believe are the Hebrew? Like when you say friend of Israel, what do you mean? The, the Hebrew now, Israelites? All right. Now we could get on a different lift a different uh atmosphere because okay. we it's got to be on a whole different. You thought I was one of those Hebrew Israelites, but I wasn't. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> So the Israelites today are the Israelites that's over there right now. That's okay. Israel. Right. I agree. Palestinians might have some DNA too. Okay. Yeah. When you okay. say time of Jacob's trouble, see, I didn't hear I didn't hear your whole thing. I was going off based off what you're saying that uh Selassie was a descendant of King yeah. David. Yeah, now the reason I said that because I I didn't do no deep research in that, mm -hmm. you know. So since we 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 on the same we on a, we got the same mindset as far as those Hebrew Israelites not being authentic and everything they talking about is kind of basically backwards, you know. They deceiving their own people. Yeah. Okay, um, my bad. See, I'm I'm trying to like trigger a Hebrew Israelite to come on and stuff, and I'm thinking because I never get them on. So I was like, damn, I thought you was one. Now I'm a little disappointed. I mean, my bad. <laughs> I'm not disappointed. I'm glad to have you on. We can still have a good conversation, hopefully. Those All right. Holy Selassie, the reason I said that is because, like I said, it's either Yemen or Ethiopia. Yeah. That he, yeah. That, um, Queen Sheba came from. Right. And um, basically, they the only ones that got the oral tradition. You know what I mean? That's not a, I don't know for certain, but I got to yeah. go with Ethiopia because they only ones that got a, a basically an oral tradition as far as being a descendant of King David. Well, so. Yeah. Yeah. So I agree. They do have an oral tra tradition. And I agree that the Hebrew Israelites might have looked even back then something like uh, Selassie or the Yemen, the people from Yemen. I agree with that, too, because when you look at like the history of the whole, even the, the trans-Saharan slave trade. I'm sure there was a lot of Israelites being uh, moved around back and forth or, or what's, you know, and that term is, it's hard to throw that term around too. Or what is an Israelite? You know, I don't believe I used to be a, a Hebrew Israelite. You know, I used to be a part of a group called the ICGJC where they had a, 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 a what do you call it? They had the, the leader was called the comforter. He was robbing the people. He, and then he died of COVID. <laughs> he died. I'm not laughing at him dying. I'm just, just the whole situation of him claiming himself to be something up high and then being taken down. 
<clears throat> it's really ironic. Um, so ever since I deprogrammed, and especially on that on that chat on that Facebook group, I go on there and I troll. I I trigger. I try to get people on. I try to do it as my main page, but then that they never come on. So I, I got another page and started going on there just today. And I was trying to get a bunch of people on. And I guess I came across you. Um, but it's still interesting. Um, you know, I mean, we could still have a conversation. I appreciate you coming on. Um, I see you have a lot of followers too. Um, on Facebook at least. I haven't I haven't checked the channel out, but they don't pay too much attention because my my philosophy is is basically um, anti everything that we've been taught since the early 1900s, all the nation, right. Hebrew Israelites, all that. You know what I mean? Is basically anti that because okay. we've basically been lied to, man. We just everything that we was taught by them leaders, you know, was basically a lie. You know, just like you said. Uh, as far as the transatlantic slave trade and Israelites coming over here, you, us being over here, even if it's some Israelites over here that's uh, that's Africans or Blacks, you can't take the title as being the original. Right. You can't take the title of being original because your DNA is E1B. Those Levant people, those uh, Middle Easterns people, yeah. Their DNA always been J or R1B. <clears throat> right. And even, and just look at the Ethiopians. That's why they look at us different. And that's why they look different is because they, they are mixed breed. You know right. what I mean? I can say they descendants of, some of them descendants of um, King Solomon or, or uh, King uh, David. Just like Genghis Khan, there's a lot of Mongolian descendants. Like they say like 50% of the, people in Mongolia um, are his descendants or something like that, like some crazy number. And I'm sure King Solomon has a bunch of his DNA just all over. Like, yeah. you know, it's hard to determine who that is and who that's going to be. But they did do recently, just in October of 2023, maybe I could share this since we kind of both on the same thing then. Yeah, I could see you're very intelligent then. I, I don't know why I assumed you were the Hebrew Israelite. You see, so you can't, it's, man. I I be I still be assuming. <laughs> I get myself caught up. I put my foot in my mouth. So I got to change the um. I got to change the title of this friend of. I'll just put friend of Israel joins me. Um, I actually have. There's an Ethiopian sister on here that used to be in the cult that I was in, and she said my dad has a picture with him, when he received his diploma. So um, that's that's crazy. That's amazing. Um, but yeah, I also want to show what they did in Israel because I always hear, oh, you can't do DNA tests, you can't do DNA tests in Israel, and that's not true. They just don't do direct to consumer DNA tests. Um, there's a lot of lies that go on in that Jews versus Hebrew Israelite uh Facebook group, man. How did you find that? Um, just strolling up and down Facebook, you know, trying to get into it with different groups and I came across that one and I, and I, I dive right in. I dive right in. You know? Yeah. I went out like on the weekend Yeah, I find myself just spending way too much time on there. I'll be having to take a break, but you get caught up and you start learning stuff too. Um, and I get a lot of content from there. I've made videos just based off conversations with people that they're just completely wrong. And it's sad. Uh, some of the things they fall for, um, it's like they're screenshot scholars, you know, like they'll, they'll just keep sharing a screenshot that they got from somebody else and somebody else, and they don't have any sources. They don't know where the original source comes from. And so there was a guy just recently that posted something, which is, it's a very low budget article from Reading Pennsylvania that talks about Negro Jews. And then it tells you right in the article that there's more white uh, African Jews in Africa than there are Negro African Jews and that the Negro Jews are actually newcomers and they block all of that in their screenshot. They put a banner up that blocks all of that. It's like very deceptive, you know, like 
once I started doing my research and left this Hebrew Israelite thing, I came across so many lies, man. It was like left and right because I actually started doing my research instead of just repeating and regurgitating what I was hearing. And so I come on here on this channel. I created this channel to expose that cult leader before he died. And I continue the channel on because uh, I think it's a good platform to bring people on that are still caught up in this. And I, I, cause I know, I know the tricks. I know all the tricks. That's why I thought you, I thought you were one of them. I was like, I'll be ready, man. And these cats, like they never, they never want to come on, but um, I'm glad I got somebody on at least that, that we could talk about something. Cause I wanted to go live tonight for sure. And, and the reason that I, we were speaking about Jacob's trouble is because the more prophecy it's no doubt, you know, prophecy is being fulfilled. Like you can't really, unless somebody had a time capsule and they was in the future already, <laughs> they came back and wrote the script. Ain't no way you can really deny those prophecies that's in that book. So when it talks when it talks about Jacob's trouble and Israel being surrounded, that was an attack on the Hebrews, saying that. Basically, it's nobody surrounding their storefront temples. It's nobody surrounding the Hebrew Israelites right now. Gog and Magog ain't thinking about the Hebrew Israelites. Uh, yeah. Iran is not thinking about the Hebrew Israelites. Russia ain't thinking about the Hebrew Israelites. But you got all these nations right now surrounding real Israel. So I'm still going to say, how, how are you still claiming to be Israel in this day and time? And real Israel is fulfilling those prophecies as far as them being surrounded. Every nation surrounding them. Right. You know what I mean? And then one, I said one person, I heard one Hebrew Israelite say, oh, God is uh, preparing it, preparing Israel for them. Yeah. So, so yeah. they always got to come back with something. You know what I mean? But that's what's happening right now. Israel, I mean, it's Jacob's trouble. It's they trouble. It's Israel's trouble. And if they claim in any type of Israel descent, they supposed to be supporting it. You know what I mean? Right. I was gonna I wanted to bring up this DNA thing that came up. I couldn't find it, but I think it was 80 bodies that were found or 80 um tombs that they they unearthed or something like that. I don't know why it's not coming up. I don't know if I'm just not putting in the right info but yeah there's definitely um there's definitely a uh, a lot of studies that's been done i don't know if you if you believe in dna evidence and all of that that's definitely definitely yeah yeah you gotta believe in that yeah there's a lot of these cats don't believe in that a lot of these guys come on there and they just laugh like i see that guy jacob israel he constantly he's the one that created the channel and he's the one that sent me the link that's how i found it um he's constantly just showing stuff and it's it, it's like it's like talking to a brick wall with these guys sometimes um but i'll put i'll put the link up here if i could share uh share my screen boom all right so yeah because it says jews and arabs share genetic link to ancient canaanites study finds today's jews and arabs in israel jordan lebanon and parts of syria get half of their ancestry from bronze age levantines who descend who descended from a mix of locals and migrants from iran or the caucus the caucasus most of today's jewish and arabic speaking populations share a strong genetic link to the ancient canaanites yeah because there's actually a, a a genetic connection to the canaanites and the israelites um that's definitely scientific too and and it's it's all there i mean obviously the land of canaan is the land of israel and vice versa whatever um the language is exactly the same the, the alphabet is exactly the same pretty much uh it's phoenician but yeah that whole area just seemed to have um a lot of similar practices i know they you could find um more gods with the Canaanites. It seemed like the Israelites started practicing monotheism. Um, and they they came a split from there. But history is is very um 
blurry, you know, and there's always going to be more stuff that comes out later. It's tentative. So, um, but you know, what's known right now, there's pretty good pieces to the puzzle. And as, as far as sub-Saharan Africans or West Africans that want to be up in uh, Harlem or whatever from one West and they have a 12 tri tribes chart, including Hispanics, or Native Americans, that that is completely bogus. Um, you know, not to say that there can't be some Israelite DNA in any one of those people, but as like generally to speak generally to say the tribe of Ephraim is in Puerto Rico, where you have European Puerto Ricans, you have black like I'm Dominican um, in Dominican Republic and I did my DNA test. So I'm 24 percent African. I'm 66% European and 10% uh, Taino. So I'm that's that's like exact. That's a mestizo, like a mixed race. I think in America, nine percent of the population consider themselves a mixed race, something like that, eight or nine percent. In Dominican Republic, it's like 80% of the population is a mixed race. That's just what we are. So it's like, how can you say that a Dominican is this tribe of Simeon? You know, I once believed it, but you know, I see it now and I'm like, yeah, I was bugging, you know, like Taino Indians that were already there are Simeonites. And then the African slaves that were brought over are Simeonites, too. That doesn't make sense. But I'm sure you came across a lot of that stuff, too. The 12 tribes. So. Definitely. And only way, only way, uh, because the original Israelites, like you said, they, came, uh, they mixed in with the Canaanites and everything. To the west, they come from Canaan, uh, come from Mesopotamia. They still got the original um, gene of the Mesopotamians, Mesop Mesopotamians, over there. Uh, I forgot the mu I th think it's called the Mush, the Mush field or something. I forgot the name of it, but they still carry the original gene of the Mesopotamians, and uh, it's J, I believe. Uh, yeah. So. That whole stock is Asiatics, the Europeans. All that that whole stock is Asiatics, you right? Know? Uh, so, only way that Dominican Republic, the Dominican Republicans, and uh, Africans and whoever can say that they are part of Israel, they will have to claim the title of children of israel in the sense of them being actually children of the israelites of the original israelites like descendants as far as the israelites uh intermarrying with these different nations right see what i'm saying so <clears throat> when the spaniards came over here and um started messing around with the uh with the indians over here that's the a way that that seed or that Israelite seed could have been transferred over to the Indian population. Or that's that's the only way that can, they can really claim that. You yeah. know, what I mean? it had it had to be introduced to our culture, to our people. You know what I mean? To West Africans. Yeah, but it, we can't claim original. You know, what I mean? yeah. just like in, even in Europe. <clears throat> in Spain, there were in Portugal, there were a lot of Jews over there too. And I remember I, I forgot who was it that told me um after I left the Israel, Hebrew Israelite belief and the whole pro the whole uh cult and deprogram. Um one of these Christians that I that I'm cool with that goes against Hebrew Israelites, they told me they're like, Hey, you might actually have some Jewish DNA in you. Or some Israelite stuff, and when and when I did my DNA test, it came up like Sephardic, very little though. Yeah, yeah, it was very little. But to say that a Native American or like an Indigenous American, like especially in Mexico, they say that the Mexicans are the tribe of Issachar. They've been over there in that part of the world for like, like I think, and there's always new evidence coming out. They said like 12,000 years ago first. Now they're saying like 20,000 years ago. They've been there way before 720 BC when the 10 tribes got 
conquered and taken over out of Samaria into Assyria and all of that. That history is in the book of Kings. But, you know, they use the Apocrypha. And in the Apocrypha, there's a scripture in 2nd Ezra chapter 13 that tells you the 10 tribes went to a land called Arsareth. <clears throat> um, that's like my specialty right there because, you know, I would be one of the 10. I used to think I was one of the 10 tribes. And if you look at their chart, they're saying that 10 out of the 12 tribes are pretty much Hispanic, you know, um, <laughs> which is crazy because, you know, it, they don't like the term black Hebrew Israelite, but they they're pretty much, you know, saying that Jesus Christ is black, quote unquote, or whatever. Um, but yet 10 out of the 12 tribes or nine out of the 12 tribes are uh, Native American or Hispanic. So, you know, the majority of the people in Latin America uh, no, no matter which tribe you want to pull out, even in Brazil, um, it's not the majority of them are not, um, they're not African. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what's up. Um, what was I finna touch on? Um, yeah, I'm yeah. Still, still looking for that. Um, what you call it? I'm still looking for that. That DNA thing that they was that they came up in Israel. It's October of 2023. I don't know why I can't find it. Let me see if it comes up now. And what's really tripping me out now too about them uh, about them pictures coming out of Russia. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's the new thing now, man. Oh, that's crazy. Because those pictures, those images, they was actually copied. You know about the Knights Templars, right? No, well, I know who they are, but yeah, I don't know this history like that. So the Knights Templars, they was uh, they was accused of worshiping a head. They was yeah. accused of worshiping a, a, um, a demonic head. So they Masons, so they gonna they gonna span everybody. They not gonna tell you exactly what they doing. So right. people was accusing them of worshiping a demonic head. They used to bring in different type of heads in. And, um, say they worship in this head and that head, but in all actuality, they was wa- worshiping a face from off the Stroud of Turan. The Stroud of Turan is the Stroud. You know, okay, yeah. So if yeah. you see that image off the Stroud of Turan, it's an image of Jesus. Right. So the Knights Templars they kept that Stroud. And did you know? Now that face that's on that Stroud is a. Caucasian looking face, the European looking face. Yeah. So that face is the same face that the Byzantine painters copy from. Right. Early 1300s, 1200s, 1100s, all the way up into the medieval times. They copy from that Stroud of Turan. Let me see if I can find that. How do you spell that? The Stroud? How do you spell that? S H O U D, I think it is. And Turan, I forgot you spelled Turan. It's like T O R I N, I believe. Yeah, I I know I've seen this. I know exactly what you're talking about. So they, the, the, the crazy thing is, check this out. The yeah. painters copy from the Strada Turan, which is a ca- Caucasian looking face. Yeah. The Russians, these are called icons. So the Russians copied from the painters of Byzantine, the Byzantine painters, and the Byzantine painters copied from the Stroud of Turan. Hmm. I'm gonna I got it up right now. This is it. I know what you, exactly what you're talking about now. So Here now, yeah. So now the the Russian paintings, the Russian icon paintings that is colored black is actually only copied from this European picture of Jesus. Right. So the Hebrew Israelites jumping on it, the Byzantine, the, I mean the Russian icons, when that's an image of a European, actually an image of a European looking Jesus from the Stroud of Turan. Yep. There it is. Yeah, and that's real. That's real. Yeah. Okay. They did an investigation about that and said it was dated back to the mid the medieval times. And that was only because they took a, a sample 
that was of a of cotton we woven into the original sample the original um stroud so they did another um another investigation and they took the original sample from the original stroud and it dated back to uh 100 bc to like 300 a.d okay that's right yeah that's right then right around that time i guess they have um my 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 i grew up catholic so i've seen this this is up in my aunt's like my great aunt's like kitchen or something you know like they love this this image really um, can't, really let me see that's, that's it yeah um, you can also yeah go ahead no, go ahead my bad you can also see um, the oldest depiction of um, of Jesus going back to the 400, 4th century or something like that. He looks Middle Eastern. He looks like maybe, you know, like, like Osama bin Laden or something. Like, that's how this looks right here. It doesn't really look, you know, which is Caucasian pretty much. Um but I've seen Russian. I used to. I used to put those images, the Russian icons. I used to believe in that when I was in the Hebrew Israelite thing. I used to put those images on T-shirts, man, <laughs> and wear the T-shirts out in the streets and stuff. You know, um, like I, I've been on this for you know years ago, and now um, they wanna they wanna be on some, you know, like like this is old. But because Putin is putting it out there, Vladimir Putin, they want to make it seem like it's a bigger deal than it. Like it's always that's always been out. Why now when some Russian dictator or whatever is putting it out? How come it's more valuable now? Like his word matters more than what you always believe or something like. But yeah, they, they're making it seem like this is some type of, um, I guess, prophecy or something. Uh, there's depictions of Vladimir Putin right now. They, they, there's Russian icons of him. There's Russian icons of uh, uh, Joseph Stalin, and they're looking kind of brown too. I don't know. It's just these depictions. This is not a good way for you to like prove a genetic claim to look at a depiction of something, you know. And then, especially people drew that in the 1400s. These are not like eyewitnesses or nothing like that. Um, but yeah, this is what I was talking about right here. This is an image. Um, uh, let me pull it up here. I don't know if you can see it. All right. So right here you have, this is like one of the oldest depictions of Jesus. Yeah. Um, on the right. That's the, that's late fourth century. Um, let me see what else it says. Yeah, here's another one. Yeah, Middle Eastern. Yeah, that's how it looks like to me. The yeah, it talks about the shot of Turin here. Is the best known is now the best known example through the image of Odessa. Yep. Yeah, this is all this has all been known. Like, but I, I found it funny when you look up uh Joseph Stalin russian icon he looks kind of he looks kind of mexican to me in there let me see <laughs> he got he looks like kind of brownish and everything here we go the russian orthodox church joseph stalin yeah you can see he looks um i don't know why these depictions always come out this way it just they just look browner than they really are because that's how they paint it. They paint it. They say they paint it gold, golden, or or bronze, because right. it has to signify value. Got you. Yep. And that's why they painted a paint those images a little bit darker. That's crazy. I didn't. I didn't. I never noticed that. Yeah, you can see that <laughs> it's a little bit darker than than they really are. Like Joseph Stalin is clearly. Right. a european man like there's no doubt about it there's no like oh he's you know like 
if there are Hebrew Israelites a hundred years from now, they're gonna pull this up and start saying that Joseph Stalin was a Hebrew Israelite. Or something. <laughs> that's how they. That's how their minds work. It's like so it's very simple. Moore is gonna say the more through Russia around this time. <laughs> <laughs> It's it's crazy, but I can't believe they got one of um of of Vladimir Putin because it's like this cat is still alive. But let me see a Russian icon. It, it looks funny. I don't know who did this, where they come from, but look, <laughs> still like you know you can see like why they make him look so brown there. I don't know. He looks a little brown to me. How old is that? Um, this is like. It's gotta be it's gotta be recent. I think I think I saw 2013, 2015, maybe. Yeah, you see that so they have they, this is a thing that's like I used to literally go to Russian icon edu or dot edu like way back in 04, 05, 06, way back in the days. And I used to take I used to log in or I, I forgot if I put it in the flash drive. I used to take it to this dude that makes shirts. And I would literally have this stuff printed out on shirts, thinking, you know, that it shows that the real Israelites were were black, or you know, that they, I, I don't even know. But um, oh, 2012. That's that's the source. 2012. So, yeah. <clears throat> so there's a lot of stuff. It's like this is a horrible way to show that you know you believe somebody's black or whatever. It, it's a horrible way for sure um and and i clown these guys all the time with, with this like i always post this because if it's good enough for them to show this other stuff then this should be good enough too or whatever or the images or depictions of white but um but yeah man um i got i gotta actually end this right now i wasn't planning to come on um i definitely we definitely gotta um friend each other up on facebook I'll, I'll go through my my actual facebook page and you're welcome to come on here again at any given time um but do you want to say anything like closing comments or anything um no, no? i just appreciate you know because i never really been on live on youtube before no so, okay so, um, i'm glad you can make it man uh and i if i offended you in any way i apologize man no, I me. Mean, I was gonna say the same thing. That, that's what I wanted to say. I apologize if I offended you or anything. You know? That's beautiful, man. I appreciate you coming through, man. Well, you cool peoples, man. I, I, I would definitely appreciate getting you back on another time. Um, but yeah, I got, I got to ride out real quick. Uh, we'll, we'll, I'll holler, I'll holler at you soon, though. All right, appreciate you. Right, man. Peace out. All right, man. All right, y'all. Um, the House of Elijah. That's friend of Israel. Um. That's a good dude right there, man. Um, I, I didn't know what I was getting involved in. I, I was completely thrown off um, when he came on and he was like, listen, man. <laughs> he said it straight real quick. And I'm glad he did because I was uh, I, I was under the false impression that this guy was a Hebrew Israelite. So you see, you know, I always got to be uh, look into it. You know, I, I was ready to go to war today. Like I was literally going back and forth with Hebrew Israelites. And there were so many other people that I want to show you that were on there that um, we, we were like going to war, man. We were going to battle um, all, like for hours, man. <laughs> like I literally went and took my kids out on a walk for like two hours and came back and these cats were still going at it with me. And I think he just got caught up in there somewhere, you know, and I started responding to a bunch of people and I saw him. And I was like, yeah, you know, whatever. I think we were talking about Holly Selassie or whatever, you know, and all of that. And I figured he was a Hebrew Israelite. I don't know why, but I was completely mistaken. So that's stupid on my part. But I do got to ride out, man. If if I got some time, I might come on. It'll have to be in like another 30 to 45 minutes. So I want to do that. I I want to finish my uh, block talk radio. Tazadake going nuts. Um, Jermaine, the shit stain, insane cult leader. Uh, part two. That's going to come soon. If I can't come back on, it's already kind of late. Um, it's 10 o'clock. I'll come, you know, I'll, I'll be on tomorrow. I'll try. All right. Have a good night. My sister, a wet. Peace out. And uh, I see my brother. 
the general was on here and everybody else. Peace out. Have a good one. Boom.